In this video, we're going to be battling these three compact gateways from Unify, and let's see which one comes out on top. Hey everyone, my name is Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. We know Ubiquity have recently introduced the Cloud Gateway Max, so we now have three different options when it comes to a compact setup. We have the Unify Express, the Cloud Gateway Ultra, and the Cloud Gateway Max. So in this video, we're going to take a look at them both physically, the specification, and what they can do and how they handle it, and see which one works out best for your scenario. So let's start by taking a physical look. So right here in front of me, we have the Unify Express, you can see is the smallest, and the Cloud Gateway Max and the Cloud Gateway Ultra are exactly the same in size. Now, where do these differ in terms of physically? If I stand all three of these side by side, you can see the thickness is all the same in terms of the compact setup. Looking top down, we know these two are the same and you can see the Unify Express is a lot smaller than the other two. But that being said, if I hold up my palm, I can hold this in one hand. So this is still quite small. If we have a look at the front, all three of them have the small, tiny little display. The Cloud Gateway Ultra and the Cloud Gateway Max are labeled as to what they are, but the Unify Express doesn't. If we flip them towards the back, very similar in terms of the physicality of it. However, the Cloud Gateway Max does have some ventilations at the bottom. Now, the main thing is if I flip them over, you can see the Unify Express only has two ports on it, one LAN port and one WAN port and they are both restricted to one gigabit. For the Cloud Gateway Ultra, we have five ports on the back. So we have one two and a half gig WAN port, which can work at both one gig and two and a half gig. And then we have four one gigabit ports. Finally, we have the Cloud Gateway Max where that step up happens and we have full two and a half gig across the board. Again, I'll mention there's no PoE on any of these ports. Interestingly, you can see the power on both of these are on the opposite side. So there's obviously something different within, but the reset button is on the same side. So let's jump into our first test, which is the boot up time. So I'm gonna plug all three of these in at the same time and let's see how long they take to boot up. We have all three of these set up here now. So we have the Express, the Ultra and the Max. We have our timer here. So let's turn this on now and see how long they take to boot up. You can see they all turn on at the fairly similar time, but the Cloud Gateway Ultra seems to be taking the lead slightly and booted up in 1 minute 56, 2 minute 30 for the Gateway Max and 4.20 for the Express. So we had a quick look at boot times and now I'm going to tell you about the update times. I couldn't get this recorded, so I'm going to tell you device by device how long they took. So we have the Unify Express in the middle. This actually took 20 minutes to update the network software. The Cloud Gateway Ultra took about seven to eight minutes approximately to get updated and the Cloud Gateway Max was done in about three and a half minutes. That gives you a rough idea in terms of how long each of them take to update their network device. And then I want to take a look at the CPU and usage. So this is fairly idle. Um, there's not been a lot of activity on these devices other than me doing a few network tests here and there. And you can see with the Cloud Gateway Max the CPU is around about 10 to 15 percent and the memory usage is around 60 percent. You see a couple of dips in the middle just around here. That was where I briefly turned off IPS and IDS to do some of those tests. We then look at the Unify Express and I turned this off for quite a while. So there's a big dip between there so you can see where it's sat. The memory is about 60 percent ish and the CPU is spiking up and down while I was doing the updates but generally it hovers around about 10 to 15%. Finally, we're looking at the Cloud Gateway Ultra. You can see the memory was hovering around about 40 odd percent and the CPU was around 10%. However, you'll see it dip quite drastically and that is when I turned off IPS and IDS. And you can see towards the end, just very recently, I've turned it back on so you can see that spike slowly going back up. Now, unfortunately, this isn't real time, so it doesn't automatically refresh. Uh, maybe a feature for something Ubiquity might look at in the future to get something a little bit more real time, but this is as of a few minutes ago. We move into the comparison of the specifications, and if you've not seen this site before, it's actually really useful. It's techspecs.ui.com, and it allows you to do a comparison across the different devices. So you can see right here, we have the Unify Express, the Cloud Gateway Max, and the Cloud Gateway Ultra. In terms of the physical size you've seen, in terms of the weight, the Max and the Ultra are very similar, but the Express is smaller, so you expect it to be lighter. In terms of the LAN and the WAN connectivity, so let's go over the LAN. So the Unify Express has one LAN port, which is gigabit. Cloud Gateway Max has four two and a half gig ports on it, which can actually be used as one gig as well. And the Cloud Gateway Ultra also has 
four gigabit ports on it. So the Cloud Gateway Max has the better ports on it with a two and a half gig. And in terms of WAN connectivity, the Express has a one gig. The Cloud Gateway Max has a two and a half gig and a one gig. And the Cloud Gateway Ultra also has a two and a half gig and a one gig WAN port. In terms of Wi-Fi connectivity, it's only the Express that has one built into it. So that has Wi-Fi 6 built in and they are both 2x2 two two MIMOs. So that's 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. For the performance, it just says internet quality and outage reporting for the Express. However, if we look at the Gateway Max and the Gateway Ultra, they're exactly the same. If we look at the security side of it, the Express has a firewall built into it and allows you to set some rules. However, the Max and the Ultra, this is where it differs slightly. It has the ability to add in IPS and IDS filtering. And as I mentioned, the IPS and IDS throughput is one and a half gig on the Cloud Gateway Max and one gig on the Cloud Gateway Ultra. And stick around towards the end as we put that to the test. The final bit I'm going to show you in terms of specification is the processor and RAM that's built into these units. So in terms of the Max and the Ultra, they both have the quad core ARM A53 1.5 gigahertz and three gig of RAM. The Cloud Gateway Max allows you to pop in a two tera up to a two terabyte drive. So you can choose the scalability or you can buy the additional draw and pop in your own SSD if you wish to do so at a later point. And if I'm just showing you the Cloud Gateway Ultra, this has the same quad core processor with three gig of RAM and it has 16 gig of eMMC storage built into it. There's one thing I noticed though, the Unify Express doesn't actually mention the RAM or the CPU that's built into the unit or even the eMMC storage. So I'm not able to comment on those within this video. Let's take a look at the pricing now. So the Unify Express comes in at $149, the Gateway Ultra at $129, and the Cloud Gateway Max with no storage included is $199. If you want to add in the minimum amount of storage, it is 512 gig and that comes to 279. But if you buy the no storage option, you can get yourself an M2 SSD tray accessory, which comes in at $19. I have all three consoles set up right here. So I have the Unify Express, you can see up here, the Cloud Gateway Ultra and the Cloud Gateway Max. And you'll notice straight away there's a couple of things that are different between these setups. One, the Unify Express and the Cloud Gateway Ultra only run the network app. They do not run any other apps across the stack. Then you'll notice the Cloud Gateway Max has all of them in there. So you can actually install multiple apps, whether it's network, protect, access, talk, or even connect. You can get them all set up within the Cloud Gateway Max. The second thing you'll probably notice that's slightly different is the versioning on the Unify Express. Because it doesn't run everything, the version of the Unify OS on these are actually 4.0.6 and the Unify OS on the Express is actually 4.0.4. .4. In terms of capabilities, everything is still there. You just lose the IPS and IDS capabilities. We're going to go now and we're going to put the throughput testing of these devices to the test. We're going to do the Unify Express, the Cloud Gateway Ultra and the Cloud Gateway Max. Now, keep in mind that there are some limitations with some of these devices. The Unify Express doesn't have IPS IDS. The Cloud Gateway Max has two and a half gig on both sides, but has a limitation of one and a half gigabits per second when IPS and IDS is enabled. So let me quickly show you my setup right here. I have two devices plugged into my network right here. So we have one in the WAN interface, which is actually running at two and a half gig, as you can see. And I have a Windows machine running in the LAN device which is running at two and a half gig as well. Just to show you how that works, we can see the device I'm on at the moment is 10006 and the gateway is 10005. So ping 10005, which is the gateway you can see right up here. And the machine on the other side is 192.168.1.135. So I can go ahead and ping that just to show you the network on the other side. It's running on a 192.168.1 subnet. So the connectivity is there between the two and currently IPS is turned on to high and block and notify. Let's run the iPerf tests now. So if we go ahead and type in iPerf, we are the client 192.168.1.135 and actually we want to run this the opposite way around. So we want the LAN going through to the WAN and then we go ahead and press enter. You can see that's now connected and we are getting around about 1.8 1.9 even pushing gigabits per second throughput. Um, that is with the IPS and IDS enabled again. It is mentioned that it's one and a half gig throughput speed on it. So if you need something more than one and a half gig throughput, 
start looking at something of a little bit more higher model. Um, these are just some of the performance tests that I'm running with nothing else connected to the network. And if we turn off the IPS and IDS, we'll give that about 30 seconds to go through. And now with running this with the IPS and IDS turned off, looking at the results right here, we're getting around 2.2, 2.3 gigabits per second. And that's the sort of performance we would expect to see with two and a half gig either side. I'm now gonna pop up the results of the other two gateways and let's do a quick comparison. Let's take a look at the Glamorous Excel file right here. So we have the Unify Express coming in at 938 megabits per second in terms of throughput. There's no IPS and IDS on there, so I've just left it as off. The Cloud Gateway Ultra with it off coming in at 830 megabits per second. And with it on, it only gave me seven megabits per second more, which is surprising as you would actually expect it to go down. Um, these were the results I was getting. In terms of the firmware version, I'm running 4.0.6 and the network version was 8.3.32. So they're the versions that I'm currently running on these devices. I wanna cover the thermal testing across these devices. And we have the Cloud Gateway Max, the Ultra, and we have the Unify Express. So I'm gonna find the hottest spot on this I can find. And I think I saw somewhere around 47 degrees. And for those of you that wanna know in Fahrenheit, that's about 118 degrees. So this is, these have been on for about an hour, just so you know, and they haven't really had much happening to them other than getting them set up and configured. So let's take a look at the Gateway Max now. Let me see if I can find the hottest spot. And at the moment, the hottest spot is about 33 degrees, which is about 92 Fahrenheit. And on the Cloud Gateway Max, you can see about 36 degrees Celsius, which is about 97 and a half Fahrenheit. So that was the front. So let's take a look at the back. On the back of the Express, we have about 46 degrees, which is 116 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a similar sort of temperature on the Ultra, around 32 Celsius, which is 91 and a half. And then a few degrees hotter on the back, which is 40.3 Celsius, which is 104 Fahrenheit for the Cloud Gateway Max. Now we're gonna go ahead and test these devices in terms of Wi-Fi speed. Now, unfortunately, I only have a gigabit connection and that is sufficient for the Unify Express and the Cloud Gateway Ultra, but I won't be able to go any further than one gig on the Cloud Gateway Max. So let's start with the Unify Express and we are connected to the network on here. This is Wi-Fi 6. I'm right next to it in terms of this. So let's go ahead and run this. In terms of the download speed, we're getting around 428 megabits per second. And in terms of upload, I'm getting the maximum, which is around 100 megabits per second. So that's what we're getting with this. Let's move to the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I've turned off the Unify Express to make sure there's no signal interference. And this is the U7 Pro. Now, again, it's straight out of box with no configuration. Let's have a look at what speed we're getting here. We're probably getting the maximum out of this in terms of the gigabit throughput. So 948 megabits per second and 100 megabits per second upload. So that is the Cloud Gateway Ultra. Let's take a look at the Cloud Gateway Mac. The access point is now plugged in and now we're gonna do the speed test on this. So let's go and run this. And I expect it to be a similar sort of result with about 950 odd megabits per second down. And we're pushing that way, 850, there's nine that's 920 megabits per second with this access point right here. Hopefully this gives you enough information to make an informed decision as to what gateway you wanna buy. Between the three themselves, if you can go for it, you definitely wanna pick the Cloud Gateway Max. It's the best of the three compact gateways. You have two and a half gig ethernet on here. You have four additional ethernet ports and it allows you to run all the applications. But if you are looking for something just network specific and the gigabit throughput is not gonna be a showstopper for you, then this could be the Cloud Gateway Max. If you have a small office or home office that you just need a couple of clients on that you need to be connected to the office, then possibly the Unify Express might be for you. I hope you found the boot times and the update times quite useful because that's always a factor that goes into that not a lot of people take into consideration. It's not something you do every day, but it's something that does have an impact also as well. If there's anything else you want to see across these, let me know down in the comments below. And if I put a future video together, I can make sure to include those results. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.